her food size recently and my gosh she just started blowing up in size because for a while there she didn't seem to be growing too much so you might be wondering what is like the normal maintenance for this girl excuse the hair you know whole world falling apart barber shops are closed but in the meantime I've got her and she has been great Honestly, one of the easiest pets I've ever had. If you're wondering her daily maintenance, it's really more of a weekly maintenance, especially since her, her enclosure is bioactive. So I don't do too much. I basically trim plants maybe once a month and then I change out the water once a month. I have an exoterra monsoon that goes off every couple hours. And then I also have a fogger, which isn't all the way on. It's not good to leave those on 24 seven. It's on a timer just to boost the humidity every so often. But let me show you. What exactly do I do? Honestly, it's pretty simple. I A, fill up the water for the Exoterra Monsoon. I do this once a week. It goes off every other hour for about 12 seconds. It's a lot of misting, I know, but I need a lot of humidity. And so far it seems to be working out pretty good. B, the second thing I do, is fill up the fogger. And this doesn't take too long. I just take it off the base station, take it to my closet, and fill it up with a water reservoir I have in there. Now it's extra super duper important that all water used is distilled water. A, it's better for your plants. B, there's no chlorine for your animals to be harmed by, and C, there's not gonna be mineral buildup over time that'll clog your sprayers and then ruin your cage when they malfunction and flood your tank. So be absolutely sure you're using distilled water. And C, or the third thing I do, is change out the water for the water dish. I take the bowl out, I get like a noodle strainer for all of those little rocks that I have in the water dish. So that way I can just pour it out easily and clean it out easily. It's worked pretty well for me. I use warm water and sometimes I'll use some dish soap, but I'll make sure it's absolutely rinsed clean before I 
replace the water dish. But that's about it, and I do that once a week. And at this point, she's about a year old, so she's feeding every 10 days or so. And I just have a reminder on my phone going off every 10 days at about 9 p.m. or so. So that's pretty easy. The only other thing that I would do is maybe once a month, I'll take the scissors out and I'll trim some of the plants because it gets overgrown sometimes and I'm making sure it stays in tip top shape. But yeah, that's about the size of the maintenance. Oh, and one last thing, I do drain the water from the overflow. I have a little flower vase that is underneath the vivarium and any excess water from the misters or the fogger or whatever spilled from the water dish, eventually instead of building up the bottom, it drains out. I have a little fish tank tube like thing that goes out the back and then goes into a vase that's in the cabinet below it. And just make sure to dump out that vase, maybe once a week. I do all of this basically at the same time. And honestly, that's about it for maintenance. But that is it guys. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below or if you have any specific requests for future videos. I wanna do more vlog style videos or travels or anything like that or go places but right now with the current state of the world that's not really an option so i thought i'd do a regular maintenance video but anyways peace